JK in Missouri who says he's a police officer. What you call in about today, sir? Well, I got some information for you, Alex. And hold on. Keep the faith, brother. Keep the faith. It'll get better if God's willing. Here's some information for you. I know for a fact that the nuclear power, uh, a nuclear power plant in Central Illinois, has been running their hazmat emergency weather response and was told to be on standby for Chicago. I also know for a fact that there is a uh, National Guard outfit right now that's got every MASH unit in Illinois trained. And I know that National Guard unit is only approximately 90 miles from Chicago. I also know there's a bunch of police officers in which I've had talk with that all of a sudden had mandated hazmat training. And they're all from Illinois. And you don't think something's going to happen? I might want to think again. Well, because we're talking about it, it may not, but that's the question we posed to Ron Paul. And uh, the, the, the um, Red Cross has confirmed, CBS is reporting, it's not just Infowars.com, that they do have total evacuation on standby. And I talked to another emergency manager over the border a few years ago, and I called him again last night. They have confirmed that they've been told, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, to be ready for one million to be buried right across the border in their county alone in Indiana. And, of course, that original interview is two years old, but they've been told to prepare for it again. So I think they just do this every time to test a takeover, but they could bootleg a false flag. What do you think? Well, I'm, I'm almost sure something's going to happen. I'm almost positive something's going to happen. Yeah, you, you don't sell 400 million rounds of 40 caliber hollow points, 250 million rounds of 223s, and not expect something to happen. And it, it just doesn't happen that way. And I know for a fact most of the officers that I work with, you send in Russian troops or blue helmets, God help them. God help them. Well, you know, they may just try it. I mean, whoever thought they'd say they're going to ban kids doing chores on farms? Whoever thought they'd... Obama would launch wars and tell Congress to take a hike. I mean, this is really scary. This is a real attempted takeover of the country. Why is that man being impeached? He's, he's, <laughs> oh, don't well, because, listen, they, they think they've got at least half the public totally brain dead watching TV. That's why this is all happening. And uh, it does go to hell in a handbasket. The people that have prepared will, will make it through it. And, and I pray to God that it doesn't happen. But I also pray to God that if it does happen, do it now while I'm young enough to help rebuild. I also pray to God that if it does happen, that we can get our country back the way it's supposed to be. Amen to that. What are the, uh, briefly, what are the other officers around you saying? Are they starting to realize all is not well? Well, it's about 50-50, and then you got the other ones laughing at you, you know, which is all right. I don't care. Uh, it's uh, very sad. Uh, they're like children. It's like the general public. And that's the sad thing. Most of these people are not evil they just are like children. The general public is like children. They have no idea, and everything's a big joke. Uh, can you tell us the power plant? Because nobody can figure out who you are just because of that. I mean, can you tell us which power plant it is so we can call them? Uh, no, I can't because they'll figure out who, who I talk to. I understand. Well, you you know better than we do. Thank you. Just, uh, let me put it to you. It's in, in central Illinois, approximately 90 miles southwest of Chicago. Okay, nuclear power plant southwest of Chicago. How many miles southwest? Approximately 90. 90 miles southwest of Chicago. Guys, get on that right now. Thank you so much, sir. We'll be right back.